Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Nancy Badijo from nancybadijo.com and today I will be talking about how to install a WordPress plugin. This is going to be a very simple short tutorial on how to add a, pro a plugin to your WordPress. Now do keep in mind that in order to be able to add any plugin to your website, you must be an admin of that site. If it belongs to you, and that's your, your blog or word or website, then you're fine, you'll be able to do it. If you're adding it for someone else, you have to be an admin. If not, when you go on the plugins, it will not give you the capability to actually even do it. Another thing to keep in mind is that plugins are a great way to extend the functionality and add new features to your WordPress site. So there's a lot of nice things about plugins that you'll be able to customize and make your website um, work a lot better with them as well. So let's get started on the tutorial. So uh, the first thing will be logging to your WordPress site. Another thing to keep in mind as well that I forgot to mention is that in order to be able to add plugins, the website has to be a self-hosted site. That means that you are paying for it. If you're doing the free version of WordPress, um, a lot of the plugins are not available for the free ones. So just keep that in mind in case you're trying to add a plugin on a free website and you're not able to. So in order to begin, all you have to do is if you go to the sidebar right here, you're going to see all the different features that your WordPress has. All you have to do is click on plugins and it's going to open a new window. And if you already have some plugins, you'll see some here. So these are all the plugins that I currently have installed in my, in my blog. So if you're looking for a specific plugin, um, all you have to do is click here. It will say add new. So that's going to open a new window. And then if you know the plugin that you want, all you have to do is pretty much look it up. So I'm going to look up backup WordPress. And this plugin is the easiest and most beginner friendly um, plugin to back up your website. Um, and it will store up all your information in case something happened that you got hacked or you got a virus or something happened that you lost all your information, you will have it installed. So this is a plugin here. However, when you type in back of WordPress here on the search, you will find, you will see other plugins. So you could do your research, you know, you could just go through them and, and kind of see which one you want to install. I highly recommend doing your research before installing any plugin. So one way to do that is if, if somebody recommended the plugin to you, if not, and you're just looking for one and this is your first time, what you could do is just, um, if you click on the first one that you see, let's say this is the one that you want to kind of add. And when you click on it, it's going to give you a little bit of description of what the plugin is about. And if you go here, it's going to show you the installation majority of them will have them here. This is like a little click, a little a link that you click on. It will take you to step-by-step -step tutorial. Frequently asked questions. So this is going to show you other questions that people say. What happens if you get an error message? Um, change log for security reasons. Screenshots of how to install it, which is really nice um, because this will help you step-by-step. And then the reviews as well. So you could go in here and see what other people are talking about, how many reviews it has. Um, that's another great way to see if a plugin is worth having. And you could, you know, you could also install the plugin. And if for some reason it doesn't work out, you could always delete the plugin. So you're not stuck with that particular plugin. I've done it before. I tried one that someone told me about. I download it, install it not too happy about it, delete it, and then just try a different one until I find one that actually works and fits my needs for my blog. So so let's say this is the one that you want to do. It has a lot of great reviews. Um, it has over 600,000 active installations. Um, it was updated two weeks ago, so that's really good as well because then you can see if the product, whoever made this plugin, the manufacturer, if they are keeping up with it. That's another good thing to look at because if this said, let's say six months ago, it might not be the best plugin to add because then if you have a problem with it or you're trying to reach out to 
to the person that created the the plugin, it might be a little difficult because they they they're not staying updated with it. So that's another indication if it's a good plugin or not. So all you have to do is you could click here, install now, and it's gonna you know start installing it. You're gonna see the little and once you click there, it, now it says activate. So it's already in your list. So you could either click here and activate it, or you could go to install plugins and just look at it, look it up there, which is right here. See? However, just because you install it doesn't mean it's active. So now you have to activate it. So you could just act, press activate here. It's going to take a few seconds to go ahead and activate it or tell you if it was failed, depending on the situation. So it looks like right now it's activated. This is going to give me a more in-depth of what I need to do to back up my archives on my WordPress and how to save my files. So once you activate it, a lot of them you activate and they're good to go. You don't have to do anything else. A lot of them you activate and then you have to go to your sidebar, look for it. Go under settings and do the changes that you need to do to make sure that that word that plugin is actually working correctly. It really depends on the plugin that you're doing. Some are a little bit more in depth, like you have to do a couple more steps, and some are just click, install, activate, and that's all you have to do. Um, so this completes the tutorial on how to add a plugin to your WordPress. Um, the biggest thing I could say is make sure that you read the you read the reviews, make sure that the plugin has a good rate of um, getting updated as, as frequently as it can, and also make sure that it's something that you're gonna use. Don't download a plugin that you might not gonna or you're not gonna use because what happens is the more plugins you have, the more stuff you have installed in your WordPress, the slower your website will be. So if you have, if you go to your plugin sections and you do have additional plugins that you're currently not using, I would recommend to go ahead and deactivate it and then delete them. There's no point of having them there if you're not going to be using them because they actually, even though they're great for, for functionality and adding features, it could also slow down your WordPress. So... If you have any questions about different plugins or anything that you would like to talk about WordPress, please leave it in the comments below. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I will be adding more videos on blogging tips, how to make money online, how to make money with Etsy, and a lot of more digital marketing material. And make sure you leave me a comment below and like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again and have a wonderful night.